Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I wanted to do a flip, flip, flip through and a small little review of Kindergarten Math with Confidence. As you guys know, this is the curriculum that I will be using with my four-year-old who's going to be five in December. Um, we have been doing some kindergarten work um, since I want to say March or April, but we officially started our kindergarten year this week. Um, so yeah, I'm going to flip through this book um, and sort of give you a small little review because we are um, on the first week of this curriculum, so I don't really have like an in-depth um, opinion on it. So yeah, let's get started. Here I have the student workbook, teacher's manual. The student workbook does not come in this fancy binder. I just, I'll talk about it in a little bit, but um, they both came in like workbook style like this. Um, I got this on Amazon. They had a deal for $38 I'm pretty sure that's the price that I got it from for um, and on their website and like the regular price is like 51 it's not that expensive if you really think about it compared to other curriculums out there but if you know if you're on a budget this may not be the right one for you and there's other curriculums that you can purchase um, you actually don't even need the student workbook from what I heard from other homeschool moms the instruction guide can be you know used on its own Okay, so let's open the instruction work instruction guide. Um, it's kind of thick. Oops, sorry, there. it's kind of thick. A lot of pages. Um, if you want to use this with multiple children, I recommend going to either like Staples or one of those like office supply stores and have them bound it because with these are not really that good for years to come. Um, so this curriculum is made. Well, it's made by Kate Snow, also The Well-Trained Mind, um, which they make a lot of other curriculums like Story of the World. Um, what other ones? Uh, this book. I also use by The Well-Trained Mind. It's first language lessons for The Well-Trained Mind. Um, they also have like some other math ones. I don't know what. Oh, um, it's I think it's like Math That Sticks or something like that. Um, check it out in their website. They're a great company. I really, really like it. So, yeah, let's start off. The curriculum recommends you start using this at the age of five and six. But um, if your child um, is ready for it, you could start it a lot younger. Um, here's the table of content. Super simple. Okay, here's the instruction. I'm going to just, you know, show you guys show you guys a little bit of it. And you can pause the video and read it yourself. Here's how to use the oops, how to use the book. So here it says um, when they're five or six. A few four-year-olds may be ready to use the kindergarten math for confident, but most young children won't be ready for the number writing on the worksheets or the more abstract concepts in the program, such as cate categorize, ca categorizing shapes or writing two-digit numbers. If your younger child is interested in numbers, you can use preschool math at home before starting this program, then monitor his level of engagement and frustration to decide whether or not he is mature enough for kindergarten math. So I was a little bit worried because I looked through this curriculum, excuse me, online and in some videos that other homeschool moms posted. And I was a little bit worried that she was not going to be ready for it. Um, but then I looked into the teacher's manual and it gave me confidence um, that she will be ready to step into this curriculum. Um, she is able to write numbers 1 through 20 on her own with no help. Um, she still certain times gets confused with 12 and 20, but um, she has been like getting the hang of it pretty well um, for the past couple of weeks that we've been working on her number writing. So um, I felt that she was quite ready for this and we will be using this curriculum again next year. Um, so by that, I mean that she not only is going to use this curriculum all through um, once, but twice. Sorry about the birds. Here's more information. Again, pause the video if you want to read it. I'm trying to make this video kind of short, but it never happens. Okay, here's another overview. 
here's the math kit that you would um, be mainly using. Okay, here's unit one, which they focus on numbers to 10. Um, overview, your child will learn how to use counters, fingers, coins, and written numbers to present the numbers for zero to 10. She'll also learn the combinations that make five and the combinations that make 10. There's four weeks in this unit. And we are we are in week one. Um, this is what your child will learn. And this is what the child will do in week one. Let me just give you a little bit of an overview. They do involve, um, where is it? Math book of the week. Um, we're not doing that because our library is still having a lot of trouble because of the whole pandemic thing so okay so i highlighted the first lessons just for you guys can see what the teacher is going to have to say or you know what the teacher should look out for and pretty much everything that's in bold is what bold is what the teacher say says and then the rest is what the student should be saying um here's the little box tells you what's the purpose and material so um the activity will recognize a quantity of quantity of one and they will also be using their workbook and trace and identify the number one um, for materials they will need a small toy car um, or plastic animal etc and here they will use paper and workbook page one um, here's the activity that you will do usually the first um, activity is either an introduction or review and activity two is more of an actual activity and this was the activity for um, the first lesson and then finally you move on to workbook it tells you you know what your child is expected to do and some stuff that you can talk about while the child is working on the first page um, I'll show you that in a second but my four-year-old was actually super independent when it came to that to the first couple of worksheets because it's super easy she's already um, a little bit ahead of what they expect the child to do in the first couple of weeks okay um in, sorry in the first week um here's lesson two again just going to show you a little bit of an overview um we already did this lesson it was super fun she actually enjoys it they do recommend if your child is younger and is having a difficult time with certain lessons um they recommend you stop and spend a couple weeks just doing some light light review and then go back into it if your child is still having difficult times you could that means excuse me that your child is struggling and you should um they're not ready for the kindergarten she has not had any difficult times yet so we're gonna continue doing it we're taking it like i said really slow and not spending too much time you know worrying about her mastering and more time making math i guess fun um, because she is young and this is a kindergarten curriculum. This is the lesson that we did today, which was number three. Um, recognize, so this is the purpose. Again, today we recognize one or two counters. These are the materials. We recognize a quantity of three. Understanding the rearranging, a quantity does not change this change its amount. We trace the numeral three, match a smash the um, sorry match small quantities with written numbers and again i'll just show you guys what that says so right here i have some tips just in case your child pronounces um the number three wrong it gives you some tips on how to work on that here's the activity and the workbook so tomorrow we're going to be working on lesson four um, for week one. And here's what the child will be working on. Just give you a little bit of an overview of lesson four. Um, each week has four lessons, but they she recommends if you do have a five day week, you could start the next week um, as part of your first week. So lesson, it will be like lesson five. Um, here it has the answer keys just in case the teacher needs it, but it's super simple. So you're not going to here. We have week two. Now I'm just going to flip through and let you guys see again, stop the video. I'm going to try to go as slow as possible, possible. So, um, 
just some talking as I'm flipped through. Um, when I was teaching the kinder, um, the kindergarten, when I was teaching the twins kindergarten math, I actually made my own curriculum. I didn't use any curriculum because I couldn't find one that I liked. But for her, I wanted to do something different. I wanted to see if I can find a curriculum that I enjoyed. And I've been getting really into Montessori style teaching and like a lot of hands on. So I thought that it would be really, um, really cool to find a curriculum that involved a lot of hands on Montessori type activities. And I found this one and I was like, OK, I'm going to give it a try. So as you guys can see, obviously, <laughs> I'm giving it a try. Um, and from what the lessons that we have done, super simple. It takes less than 10 minutes to do. Um, I like that they have a student workbook because, you know, eventually I will have to switch her on into, well, not eventually, but eventually, you know, she is going to be attending public school. I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but she, her parents are going to put her in public school next year. So eventually she's going to have to get used to doing worksheets. So I'm happy that it has that option. Super simple. It tells the parents exactly what to say to the child, um, which I like because when you're first starting homeschooling, well, excuse me, I've been doing this for quite a while. So I know, you know, how to teach a lot of things. But for a lot of parents who are new to this, when they're first starting, you will like, you know, to have the ability to, well, you will like to have a book that tells you exactly what to do, to do and not just, you know, you guessing at it. Okay, let's skip two here's week 19 and it is getting it's gonna get harder so just be careful if you have a young child um the activities do get a lot more difficult as time goes on here's week 20 black and white curriculum super easy to read not overdoing it because your child is in kindergarten so you don't want to overdo it and have them do like these crazy um topics like uh what is it the curriculum of becca and horizons i look into that for kindergarten not that i was going to use it i was just looking at it um to compare to this one and they are super advanced i that's why they say in their website that if your child is in kindergarten and you're thinking of using their kindergarten curriculum really think about it because it's super advanced um, so compared to this, Horizon is more of like a first grade, like their kindergarten version. Okay, so just gonna go to the end. This does bring like printable manipulatives at the back. I already took them out and I'll show you in a second what that looks like. If I can... Okay, this is the last lesson. So what I learned this year, warm up, review and warm up activity and workbook. And again, here's the answer key. In the back here, you have the scope and sequence. Show you guys slowly. My chair is moving a lot. <laughs> okay. Here's the complete list of math books that they recommend you read to your child. Here's the materials, acknowledgement, and the back of the book. Okay, so that's that. Now let's move on into the student workbook. Again, like I said, it did not come in this binder. I just added to it because I am teaching other kids as well, you know, She's not going to be the only one that I teach kindergarten math to. So I decided to put it into sheet protectors. You can laminate it. And I will be giving her an expo marker. And she just traced it. She already has a handwriting curriculum. So this has, you know, I don't mind if she's tracing. Um, a lot of this curriculum is a lot of tracing and... Well, not a lot of it, but like the first couple of lessons, a lot of tracing and matching. So if you don't mind putting sheet protectors and having a child um, use Expo markers, then you could just do it the normal way. They have the child write the actual numbers here. She's already capable of doing that, so I don't have any problems with that. It is in color if you are, if your child needs that. 
but it's not like overdoing it with the color it's really minimal the child does one page front and back pretty simple I feel like curriculums like Horizon and Abacus, they mainly focus on the student worksheet. They have, you know, I bet they have some activities on the um, parents guide, like teacher's manual, but they don't have as much as like this curriculum. This curriculum, like most of the work is the child and the teacher just talking and doing a lot of activities. Okay, let's keep going. I'm going fast, I apologize. They do go over addition, as you guys can see. Let's flip a couple pages and go here. And in every page, as you see, they do have the child write the numbers. So the child is getting some review and writing. This is not a standalone handwriting curriculum. Definitely don't recommend this to be your only curriculum for writing. Because, you know, kids at this age need a lot of um, repetition. Okay. They do start going over clocks. But not in depth. It's just like an introduction. Um, here's the last lesson. Well, the worksheet. And like I said in the beginning, they do have like, um, uh, what's it called? Uh -huh. Manipulatives. Um, print PDF. <laughs> printable manipulatives for you to take out and add to your... Um, to a sheet protector or laminate it and they have the 10 frame the double 10 frame um this is like tracing numbers they have numbers one through a hundred and a bunch of other ones as well they have money as well just in case your child you need that they also let's see if i can take it out they also do a lot of like activities with these like pattern blocks but I purchased it on Amazon, so um, we won't be using any of these. So I think that's it. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, flip throughing the Kindergarten Math with Confidence. Like I said, we are only on week one. So I can't really give a full on review. But I just wanted to flip through it just because I know a lot of people may be interested in getting this um, for their kids. Either for this year or for the future. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.